Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of Star Trek Online. And as you can tell, the outfit has changed. It's actually changed for all the characters. I decided to go ahead and just straight up change the outfits or the uniforms for my ship. And speaking of the ship, we have, I guess you could say, upgraded. I will show it to you as soon as I get this done. Because we are going out. Oh, shoot. Might as well hit these real quick. Probably get another level. Congratulations, Commander. Yep, got another level. I know, I know, I know. Shut up. Look at that. Got another level. Cool. Let's get the ablative hole. Boom. Okay, we are going to the ship. Say hello to the USS Ingrid. Or the NX. The USS Ingrid NX 92622. She is a beauty. So, uh, let us continue. To Kayla, the survivor you rescued from Demora Station, has provided some very interesting information about both the Tal Shar and the new race with which they've allied. Meanwhile, the Romulan Republic and neutral colonies are continuing to report mysterious abductions. We believe these two events are related. To Kayla wants to go home to her colony on Serini Prime. The colony there has remained independent from both the remains of the Romulan Star Empire and the burgeoning Romulan Republic. That puts them in a delicate balancing act. We thought taking Tequila home could be a good opportunity to figure out what's happening behind the scenes of the Romulan conflict. We would like you to go to Serini Prime and investigate. Roger that. I have new missions for you. So we are going to Kini Prime. Off we go. Captain, we've arrived in the Siri system. It is supposed to be a neutral colony, but I am detecting multiple Romulan Star Empire ships, as well as the shield surrounding the entire planet. If this is a blockade, it is very serious about keeping people out. The Warbirds are arming weapons, sir. We might have to fight if we want to return our guest to her colony. Speaking of which, she would like a word. Can't thank you enough for returning me. It is looks like the Romulan Star Empire has been busy while I was away. They were already lobbying our council to join them, but the Romulan Republic envoys are there as well. Now the in Empire is blockading the planet, probably to prevent information like ours from reaching our leaders. The shield wall is new. I guess the Tal Shiar constructed it. We should be careful. This isn't the first time we've run afoul of the Romulan Star Empire. In we go. <laughs> Planet is protected by the Romulan Star Empire. State your business. I didn't realize Siri Prime was a protectorate of the Romulan Star Empire. Technically it's not, however, the Empress has graciously extended her protection to all worlds in this region of space, including Siri Prime. I have been There have been recent reports of terrorist activity on the planet. As a service to the lawful residents, we are securing the world against further intrusions. Whether the Serenians like it or not, of course. I'm returning the citizen to her homeworld. Indeed, identify this citizen. We have no record of Colin. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. I don't think so, Commander. Just 
trying to turn around. There we go. Jerk. And we go. Ready to beam down to the surface? Ready. <laughs> Can't believe I finally made it home. Thank you. I never thought I would see this place again. I would like, I would give you the grand tour such as it is, but I need to get back to my family. I've never thought I'd see them again either. You should talk to a representative from our council. F uh, follow the path ahead and you will lead you to our central square. There should be someone there you can speak with. Welcome home. See, everybody is all set. You got the full white with the black regalia or tie uh, suit and outlined of their respective thing. Gold for engineering, blue for medical, red for tactical. <laughs> Pause the zone for 12 seconds. This is probably how we're going to look going forward. Open the crate, get, steal whatever's in it. Greetings. Jolan True, and welcome to Sereni Prime. Oh, thank you for returning to Kala to us. I'm sure her family is pleased she is safe. However, you have arrived at an interesting time. I was just preparing to meet with representatives from the Romulan Star Empire and the Romulan Republic. Each are urging our colony to join their faction. We've done our best to stay out of the conflict until now, but I fear we will soon be forced to take a side. Yes, we have met with the Empire's representatives in orbit. Try to destroy my ship. Yes, the Empire has a way of offering assistance that feels more like a threat. They offered security services for my world, and I could not risk refusing them. And, to be fair, there have been no abductions since the fleet began protecting the planet. Abductions? A number of our citizens went missing in the weeks before the Empire arrived. The Empire blames the Republic, of course, but I think Sila likes to blame them for a lot of things. There's no evidence they are responsible, however. In fact, there's no evidence at all. And I think that if the Republic were behind these kidnappings, they would leave some trace behind. If you would care to speak to the representatives, I would be interested in hearing what your opinion of them is. I'd be honored. I'd be on I'm honored by your request, Counselor. Okay. You are now welcome here, Starfleet. Oh, the counselor feels differently. She asked me to speak with you about give her my opinion. She is a fool. The Federation are allies of terrorists who speak, seek to destroy what remains of our glorious empire. Will you do nothing? You will do nothing here but sow dissent of our unrest. I also know that you destroyed the ship protecting the planet with callous disregard for the safety of the citizens of the colony. I have nothing more to say to you, murderer. You left me no choice. You had no choice. Those are the words. And those words have been the excuse of monsters since time immemorial. On the chance, however, that the council is foolish enough to be swayed by your biased opinion, I will explain that the Romulan Star Empire is Sereni Prime's only hope for the peace and stability. We alone possess the military strength and the optional effectiveness, operational effectiveness to keep the planet safe. The terrorists from the Republic can only offer them a portion of their own loss and suffering. The Empress has already sent ships to defend this colony. That is, 
evidence of our intention. Your intentions are clear, Sub-Commander. I think I've heard enough. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. What can I do for you? Why are you here? My intent is to speak with the Council about the advantages of joining the Republic. Fortunately, I have arrived before the blockade, and the Council has extended their protection to me. However, I... I'd probably be on my way to one of the Tal Shiar's prison's facilities by now. The Empress likes to hide her threats in a few layers of deception and lies. It can be difficult for the peaceful world like Serene Prime to resist, but if, all of, if we all stick together, we'll be able to rise up and defeat the Tal Shiar once and for all. Your ambitious are... You have ambitious goals, Sub Commander. Good luck. Well, what did you think of them? <laughs> huh. You've done well so you can't stay neutral. I may be biased, but I think you should join the Republic. An interesting perspective. Thank you for your suggestion. Our most convincing evidence comes from a survivor of Viranat. And if his story can be believed, he says he knows who is behind these abductions. You should speak to him before you leave. He's behind that building. I'll listen to his story. Yes, it was at Varanet. My family died there, my friends. I was it wasn't terrorists who destroyed my home, and it certainly wasn't the Republic. It was the Tal Shiar and their friends. But you don't have to take my word for it. Varanet was has been abandoned since the attack. Go see what our Empress does to her people. Sorry for your loss. Okay. Uh, it appears we have all we can do here, sir. Shall we return to the ship? Five to beam up. Sir, course locked in for Veronaut. However, there are Romulian ships to cloaking. They're hailing us. Commander, you are wanted for crimes against the Romulan Star Empire. Lower your shields, prepare to be boarded. You lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. Sir, Romulan vest Republic vessel is here as well. They're hailing us. You appear to be having some difficulties with the Tal Shiar. Please allow us to assist. It is the least we can do for our allies in Starfleet. Glad to have help, Commander. Oops. <laughs> Didn't catch that. I recommend we cross the shield before we exit. Before Tal Shiar reinforcements arrive. Okay. Thanks, guys. Power to shields. Get out of here. You cannot transfer from this location. Okay. Can I get back to... You know... Sector space?
Uh, we are arrived at the Vener uh, Venerat system. Sensors are detecting no signs of activity in the system, not even satellites. For a once populated world, the sensor is silent, eerie. Oh, straight up to the planet, please. Back up. So basically, if you've done the Romulan side, you get the story behind this place. So this is the old, appears to be from Romulan vessel. It's old, but it took some heavy energy weapons before it was destroyed. Uh, you don't normally see battles like this near agricultural colonies. Which is really cool because this planet is the start of it, of the Romulan side. Uh, sir, it appears that the spree is an unknown configuration. However, the energy signatures from I mean, it conform to the limited information we have on the um, Alachi. It is not. It's not enough here for the ship to have been destroyed, sir. Whatever it was, probably, it probably survived this battle. This could be a mysterious enemy the survivors are talking about. Could it be the Alachi? We need more information. Sir, I'm detecting a vessel. Wait, there's nothing there. Must have been an echo. Hell's a sensor echo. Well, going down. Oh, this place is destroyed, Captain, but the damage is only a few months old. I am not detecting any humanoid life signs. However, there are several insects around the area. Be cautious. Okay, we gotta collect evidence. This battle must have been massive. No, it was more of a slaughter than a battle. Looks like they have they were having some kind of festival when they were attacked. Yep. Sir, although the colonists died of plasma weapons discharge, her tissues appear to have been infected with some kind of fungal spores. The bio readings I am getting are somewhat similar to the readings from the prisoners on Insulation 18. The evidence of Alachi involvement is mounting. Take a sample.
The crater was created by an orbital strike from a plasma weapon of Romulan origin. Since it is doubtful that this colony destroyed themselves, it could only be have been the Tal Shiar. It's a windmill blade, Captain. Many of the Romulan colonies were using alternative power supplies such as these. With the damage of to the blade, though, this structure withstood several explosive blasts of extreme high power. Um, sniper shots. I think this device is of some kind of beacon, but it doesn't conform with any technology I'm familiar with. However, the components seem to match the equipment we discovered on Installation 18. Get a full scan, Starfleet will want to review our findings. Sir, I'm detecting a subspace transmission. We can access it at that console over there. Welcome, guests. You have one message from Emperor Sela. Would you like to play it? Citizens of the Empire, it is with great sorrow that I report the destruction of our colony in the Viranat system by the terrorist insurgents known as the Romulan Republic. I believe most of the residents of Viranat were loyal subjects of the Empire who were unaware of the terrorist cell hidden amongst their homes and families. Their deaths are a tragedy. When the Tal Shiar attempted to remove the insurrectionists and save Veranat and its people, the Romulan Republic destroyed the entire colony rather than submit to the lawful authority of my forces. I grieve for the loss of innocent life. Rest assured that those responsible will be found and punished for their crimes against the Romulan people. Viranaut will not be forgotten. I'm getting a neutral reading similar to the ones we discovered at that beacon. Whoa, hello. Bring out some allies. Really? That's it? Captain, a cloak ship of unknown configuration is decloaked and is arming weapons. Recommend you and the away team return immediately. It was a scout ship, Captain. We drove it off, but I'm expecting reinforcements at any moment. Oh, hello. Freaking Alachi.
Captain, we're receiving a priority space transmission from Starfleet Command. Patch it on the V. Yeah. To all Starfleet vessels, our allies in the Romulan Republic are under attack by the Tall Shar. All combat ready vessels are ordered to report to New Romulus immediately. Individual orders to follow. Open a channel to Admiral Tanas. Thank you for responding so quickly. Your orders are to rendezvous with Battle Group 5 at Viranat and proceed to New Romulus to reinforce our vessels there. The battle is already underway. We're on our way, Admiral. Three, two, one. Glad to have you here. Let's get to New Romulus. We got the Kirk, the Belfast, and the Agadai. We are grateful beyond words for your help. You have arrived in the nick of time. New Romulus does not have the developed orbital defenses necessary to repel such an attack, and Admiral Pererek is calling for as many ships as possible to defend the planet. The flotilla protecting the planet has been pushed back by the enemy assault. They are at their final line now. They need your help. Battle station. Glad you could join us. Concentrate fire on their command ship. You know what? Let's just do... Oh, that's... be massively painful here. Let's just do this, and this. Goddamn Alachi, huh? Get another one. Oh, nope. Okay. Power to shields. Fair. Ooh, okay. Up oh, there it is. This and this. I have no idea what I'm throwing out there. Programmable matter. Mm. Hold tight. Please let this be an easy one. Being hailed. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, thank you for your assistance today. You have saved our new world from destruction. We cannot begin to repay these deeds you have performed today, but know that your names will go down in history. We are honored to be of service. Not now. I gotta find something. Oh god dang it, it's this one again. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope.
Nope. I hate this. Really do. First digit, three. Nope. First digit to four. Correct. Okay. Second digit to one. No. Second digit to two. No. Second digit to three. No. Four? Yes, okay. Third digit is not one, so two. No. Three? No. Four? No. Last one digit may be four. No. Four. Four. Five. Four. Boom. Done. The not cool have sent operatives and chips back to time, back in time, to turn the tide of this battle against the Republic. If the Republic never forms, the balance of power in the Beta Quadrant becomes dangerously unstable. Let's do what we can to stop them. Let's take these items. And let's get out of here. The Romulan Republic extends their sincere gratitude for your assistance in saving their homeworld. We now know the race you encountered there is called the Ilachi, and they are the Tall Shar's new allies. From what you found on Viranak, and what they tried to do at New Romulus, I'd say that whatever they're doing is not in our best interests. The Republic is continuing to search for clues to reveal what exactly is happening to the people being abducted by the Ilachi. You, however, may be set to a different task. Okay. I have Congratulations, Commander. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Nope. We'll, talk, we'll do that later. Okay, guys. I'm going to end it here. I want to thank everyone for watching. We, I will do my stuff, and we'll be back next time. But, for now, take care, and I'll see you next time.